Ay. No. So in his case, what happens is go up here and then coming in this way. So you go here and come in this way. Instead, just to go here, just try to turn around here. Instead of putting this in, just, uh, just go to the top. So from here, from here, imagine there's a highway here, yeah. a straight path. Just to come down. Oh, no, 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 no. Just uh, by using the, the body here and then t by turning, by turning the shoulder and then let the rope go. Instead of pulling this down a lot. Okay. Yeah. So instead of go here and then try to come this way, just to turn around and then turn back. Mm -hmm. Still, oh, so let's do this. Do not shift this way. Yeah. Just to turn here. Stay here. From here, just to turn. Okay. Instead of sliding your pelvis this way. Again. I no need, no need to swing that hard in the downswing. Try to swing back and forth, and then try to come up with the consistent, where, where, where your swing plane is way outward right now. This is the direction of swing. Try to, try to keep the swing plane, try to keep the swing plane here, instead of going this way. Currently, your swing plane is really outward. Mm -hmm. That's better. So what happens is when you, on the way down, when you bring the elbow down, quite a bit here. The elbow is actually stuck here. And then try to turn this way. Because the elbow is uh, blocking, you have to slide the pelvis quite a bit to make the room here. But once you come down this way, then the only way you can move the hand is uh, going outward. So from here, just to turn around this way instead of it's a fairly right arm dominant swing here. Okay, swing back and forth. Make make the back swing faster. Make make the back swing faster. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think this is okay. Yeah. So swing. Swing. Okay, yes. Now it's a, it looks a lot better. Now we have less of this. Okay. So make make the vaccine a bit faster. Oh, that's too fast. That's too fast. <laughs> I can see you are quite muscular here. <laughs> Instead of relying on your muscles. Just to try to make the, the motion really smooth. Like this, and by using the lower body, by moving the lower body. Okay. But um, the initial goal is to develop really good swing plane both ways consistently, and have a bit more time up here. Have a little bit of up and down motion, a little bit of up and down motion. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhythm instead of jerky, turn, turn here. Make the, make the rope a bit shorter. So it, so it doesn't have to touch the, the ground. Oh, it's too short, it is too short. So maybe uh, a, bit, a bit longer. So just uh, maybe give this much uh, 
Bari, yeah. Try to come with a good, easy swing back and forth. No need to, no need to swing that hard, just to make it consistent motion back and forth. So sometimes, sometimes you're in the back swing, the rope goes behind, around here, and coming up. But make sure you have a consistent motion here. So when you use the rope, the body motion, although the body is moving the rope, but the body motion is not the goal here. The, the goal is to have, uh, to have a consistent rope motion here. So you have to pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. So if your goal is to move the rope consistently, More than anything, first you have to learn how to move the rope so that you have a consistent plane. Instead of moving the body a lot, vigorously, try to work with the rope, feel the motion of the end of the rope, give a good consistent rope motion by using the lower body rhythmically like this, instead of using the upper body a lot, okay? So hold it maybe about here. The rope swing will give you a lot of benefit. So easy, easy, and then feel the motion, feel the motion of the end of the rope, swing, swing, mm -hmm. Make the pexing a bit faster. <laughs> In the back swing, is uh, sometimes uh, you have just an arm motion here, but try to turn the shoulders, bring it back, let it go, bring it back. <laughs> Yes. Now it's a, it's a lot more consistent. And then you got rid of this quite a bit. Okay. Now, use the orange whip. Do the same thing, uh, swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. Ah try to bring this down too much here then this comes down so from here from so this is the top this is your top position here go here yeah. from here and then your impact position is let's say here is yeah? yeah then from here to here just go straight down go straight down to this position instead of try to bring this down here and go here you have too much shallowing right yeah. now. So eventually it will lead to a, something called the reverse spider swing. When you bring this down too much, then your hands will go out here. The club will go, the club head will go, but your hands will go out like this. You're flipping. It's called reverse spider swing. Uh, instead of this, no, let's make it easy. So it's simple. So from this position, to impact position, just to go straight following this uh, highway. No detour, no traffic light. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then on the way down, try to bring the, your hands a bit closer to your body. Uh, not instead of this one, just to bring it down here. So oh, instead of going this way here, from here, just to come down to this position. Nope, not this way. So you have this, uh, again, go to the top, go to the top. From here, just to come this way, just to come this way here. Okay. Okay. So when, when the hands come this way here, 
by the time your elbow goes uh, here, it will pass in front of the body. And then, no, not this position. Your impact position is this one here. Yeah. This is your impact position instead of going like this. That's why your elbow is always uh, blocking. So from this position, come down. And this is your impact position here. Okay. So from here, come to this position instead of too much shallowing and also you will see a bad, uh, bad influences uh, you know, by the professional players. A lot of them do this. This causes your severely outward the swing pad. So go from here, your impact position is this one here. So again, go up. up. <laughs> go up, up, up. So from here, your impact position is, no, 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 relax here. This is your impact here, keeping your hands close to your body. Impact occurs here. Instead of hands going out here, coming down this way, then you have to flip it a lot. Yes? So from this position, simply come to this impact position here. So go up to this position, instead of, and then try to flip it. So that motion will make the swing a lot more complex. Yep. Yeah, so feel, again, your impact position, your hand is uh, at this position instead of going this way. Yeah, impact here, and then continue. Yes, swing. Swing out. Let let it go all the way instead of uh, just to try to flip it. No, the hand your hand can still uh, lead more. Okay. Yeah, but just let it go instead of. Uh, still, you have a lot of uh, uh, wrist flipping action here. You have a lot of this motion here. Instead. Just uh, let it go all the way. Let it go all the way without this motion. Okay. So just nicely come down straight and then impact and then continue this motion. From here, come down and then impact and then continue this motion instead of try to flip it here. When you flip, then the color face moves quickly, and then it will give you an inconsistent impact. So again, easy swing. Feel, feel the motion of the end of the whip. Intentionally try to create a motion. It's not good, just to feel the motion, let it go. you have a very similar uh, issues here, here. So today, what we see is a, just a common problem here. The arms are going too high up here. Okay? And on the way down, it's blocking, it's causing a lot of trouble. Just to go easy here and keep a wrist motion. And then from here, come down and then let it go. Easy motion, instead of keep it high up here and then try to uh, so the, the image is when you uh, when you let the cl club go like this and then continue this motion you will go to this position here okay swing back and forth here and then go in the, this position instead of try to lift up a lot here you're lifting it too much. Just a swing, swing. Let it go to this position, just the horizontal position here. So you will see that the, the right upper arm is more or less horizontal here, okay? Instead of all the way here. 
and then coming down this way. Just go to this position and then swing, swing. When this happens, the curly head goes this way. So it will cause a crossover. This is not good. So just to go to this position. Easy. Continue this motion and then go to this position. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is going out too much. Your hand is going down and then out too much. On, so on the way down, now on the way down, because of this posture is always causing that problem. Mm -mm. You're coming down here. That's why the hands are always moving away. Come to this position here. Come to this position here. Okay? Yeah. Instead of coming down this way. Yeah. Yeah, this will give you a hands moving away from your body. So the image is go from here. Your impact position is coming this way here, impact, and then it's going this way. Yeah. Instead of going here and then try to flip a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Now the hand, hand motion is a lot better. Yes. So coming down here, easy. Just come down easy. Yes. Yes. Mm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Swing, yes. Swing. Swing, yeah. Swing, yes. Swing. Swing, yeah. Oof. That's really good now. Okay. So is, again, this is also a common issue. In your image, if you want to bring this down this way here, you can see this example a lot on TV in these days. When you come down this way here, it's just stuck here coming this way so your hands has to move away from your body and then you have a lot of flipping motion but just to go up here and then come to this position here so it's easy position here so your elbow naturally extends and then passes in front of the body like this instead of this is really good now you have changed the, your pedal quite a bit this is really good the reason the elbow gets stuck is because you take it inside on the way back or is it because the elbow was really good? usually the first issue is going inward quite a bit or when you have a high uh, arm position here when you start the downswing with this pulling action here then it's a stuck here yeah. and then with this this will happen because the pelvis has to make a space here for the elbow that's why it's sliding quite a bit yes mm -hmm. yes now the the pet is a lot better so again use the rope give me the same thing Yes, now the, the, the plane is a lot cleaner. Then the only thing is uh, you need to uh, have more lower body motion. So try to make it a bit uh, more rhythmic. Yes, he's dancing now. That's good, that's good. And then as he uh, pointed out, your swing plane is a bit steep. So you can make it a bit flatter. 
overall. Okay, current delay goes high up here because you prefer to go here and then try to come down this way. But now everything is reoriented that you can keep it a bit uh, flatter here so that it goes above your shoulder, come down, goes here, coming back, repeating motion like this. Now, so from the same, same posture, the same stance, if your rope is hitting this point, try to uh, bring the end of the rope here, yes. more outward. So you have to reach out a bit more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That looks a lot more comfortable. So try to use a bit flatter swing plane than uh, your normal. Keep it this way a little bit. Yes. Yes. So now your right hand is well coming out uh, in front of the body, so your elbow is not blocking the motion anymore. Yeah.